Have you ever wanted to be able to turn your images into code, but didn't know how? With ChatGPT4 Image to Code, you can do just that. ChatGPT4 Image to Code feature is the perfect solution for anyone who wants to learn how to code, but doesn't know where to start. It's also a great tool for experienced coders who want to save time and effort. In this video, you'll learn how to use ChatGPT4 Image to generate code for any website design. Clone any mobile app designs in seconds to improve user experience, and much more. Let's get started with ChatGPT4 Image to Code. First, we need to navigate to ChatGPT, and I'm already there. You'll need to log in, keeping in mind that for today's task, the ChatGPT Plus version is required. So proceed with confidence, check the first link to acquire it, and without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Let's start by setting the mode to default at the top most section. Once you've done that, direct your attention to the bottom left corner. You will notice a small icon labeled Attach Images has appeared. This is the spot where we can begin uploading images. I will click on this little symbol, and now I'll choose Attach Images to include the picture. Next, in the message area where the cursor is blinking, type aim, create this user interface, UI with all the details and write all the code in a single file, not leaving out anything. I'm doing this to make it easier. If there's a lot of complex code, don't worry. Just ensure that you get the layout right. Use images from pixels and other resources for the images. These are just optional way, and you can always replace them with your own images. Now, I want you to follow this step by step. First, hit enter. I've uploaded the image, and it has processed all the information. Creating an exact copy of the provided user interface will take a long time, but that's okay. We have plenty of time. Instead, provide a simplified version using placeholders for the actual data, use HTML for the structure, CSS for the styling, and JavaScript for any interactive elements if needed. We're in the process of creating something, and it's currently in progress. It will take a few seconds to complete. After it's done, I'll show you how we can use this tool chat GPT and a visual uploader or image analysis feature to review our work and potentially get some feedback on it. So for now, I'll return when it's finished. All right, I'm back. The result is impressive. It divided the task into three steps. The first step involves setting up the HTML structure, which includes things like the document type declaration. You can easily copy this code by clicking a button and then paste it into whatever software or platform you're using, like OpenPen, for example. So this is pretty much all there is to it. Here's another option I want to show you. I'll paste a scenario. You act as an excellent web developer and designer with lots of experience. Please review my design and tell me how I can make it better. This is another way to use the tool. I'll attach the same image and hit enter. Now it will analyze the image and give us feedback on it. I've initiated the analysis, and when it's done, I'll show you the results before we finish. Welcome back. The analysis has divided the feedback into two main categories, typography and Brandon. For typography, it suggests checking the spacing between letters, which is a common practice. Now let's look at branding. It mentions that the padding and margin between elements is consistent. For example, the space between the title The Unlimited Creative Subscription and its subtitle seems larger than between the subtitle and the search bar. This is highly specific feedback and is impressive. It also notes that some of the images on the website and provide us better suggestion at all. So it also evaluates things like composition, layout, color choices, and user interface elements. It provides feedback on various aspects of the design. So let's say we want to clone the design of a website. Let's say you have a design of any website you want to clone. For example, I have the design now we want to replicate from Envato Elements. Next, we'll go to our chat interface. Here, we'll use the attach image option to upload the image of the design we want to copy. Once we've uploaded the image, we move on to the second step. In our chat, we need to tell the AI what we want it to do with this image. Clearly, our goal is to have the AI generate the entire code for the user interface UI and user experience UX design based on the image we provided. In simpler terms, we want the AI to create the code that will make a website look and function just like the one in the image. So, we'll type a request like, please write all the necessary code for the UI and UX design, ensuring that no details are left out. After typing this request, we'll press the Enter key. Now. This is where the AI takes over. It starts generating the HTML JavaScript and CSS code that's needed to replicate the design we uploaded in the image. 
It's quite remarkable because it means the AI is essentially building the framework for a fully functional website based on the design we showed it. This is a very powerful capability. In summary, we're using AI as a tool to help us recreate a website's design. We begin by showing the AI an image of the design, and then we ask it to generate all the necessary code to create a website that looks and functions just like that design. It's a significant and impressive use of AI technology. Let's say I want to improve a website. I can upload the website design image here and ask for suggestions on how to enhance the user experience. When I press enter, it provides valuable suggestions. These suggestions are quite helpful, especially for web designers. They can import the design here in ChatGPT and receive suggestions. If you don't need suggestions, you can still ask questions about the design. This can greatly assist in creating the best website designs to boost conversions and improve marketing strategies. Let's take some examples to deeply understand how it could be helpful for us. Let's take this example. We have a chart where we want to create a script using D3JS to generate a bar chart with an interactive feature. To do this, we start by typing in a request like, below is an image of a bar chart representing data. Can you generate a script using D3JS that creates a similar bar chart with an interactive feature? We also upload an image of the graph. With the help of chat GPT-4 and our guidance, this process is now much faster and easier. Instead of spending a lot of time writing code manually, we can simply press enter and chat GPT-4 will generate the complete code for us in just seconds. This allows us to focus on the creative and strategic aspects of our project. If you find this capability helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel as it supports us. Now, let's move on to the next examples, which are also exciting and can help you better understand the concepts for your own projects. The better you understand these examples, the more effectively you can implement them in your own projects. I have a software architecture diagram that needs summarizing for documentation. When I find myself stuck, unsure of where to begin, I turn to ChatGPT for assistance. I simply type in a request like, I'm attaching a software architecture diagram. Can you provide a summary explaining its key components and interactions for documentation? I can even attach the image file here in the chat. Once I hit enter, ChatGPT works its magic and generates a complete summary right before my eyes. It's truly impressive. What might have taken me around two hours to do manually or left me stuck and overwhelmed, ChatGPT accomplishes effortlessly. This means I can stay productive and focused even when I'm feeling stuck as ChatGPT can step in and do the heavy lifting. Imagine you're a graphic designer and you have a logo that you want to change into a special type of computer code called CFG. This CFV code is used for graphics on websites and other digital stuff. Here's how it works. You start by typing, I have a logo, can you make it into CV code? Then you upload the logo. After that, you just press a button and the computer does the work. It turns your logo into that SVG code. This is super handy for designers because it makes the process really easy. It's like a magic trick for turning pictures into special computer code. Now, let's try another important example. Imagine you're a student faced with the challenge of solving a complex mathematical equation using Python, but you're not entirely confident in your coding skills. In this scenario, you could simply convey your request as follows. Attached is an image containing a complex mathematical equation. Could you kindly craft a Python function that accepts the necessary parameters as input and successfully solves this equation? After uploading the image, a single press of the enter, he accomplishes the task, making the entire process incredibly efficient. Now let's consider another scenario, still related to mathematics and physics. Suppose you have an image illustrating a pendulum in motion and wish to create a physics simulation in Python to demonstrate pendulum principles. In this case, your request would be, I've provided an image depicting a pendulum in motion. Could you please generate a straightforward Python simulation code that effectively illustrates the fundamental principles governing pendulum movement? Upon uploading the image and pressing enter, the simulation code generation begins seamlessly. But hold on, our journey isn't over yet. There's one final magical aspect to explore. Let's proceed to the last chapter, a thrilling game. Let's say I have an image of a web page containing various UI elements and want to generate alt text from the design. To do that, let me type in, could you analyze this image and generate alt text descriptions for each visual component to enhance web page accessibility? To proceed, let we upload the website design image, and now it's uploaded here. Press enter, and chat GPT will generate alt text descriptions for the elements in the design. In both your words and mine, 
ChatGPT and AI technology or tools are time-saving machines. While we can spend money on various things, saving time is incredibly valuable. That's why I invite you to consider joining the ChatGPT Plus subscription by checking the link in the video description. It's well worth it, as you've seen, and this is just one of its many features. Let's recap that what we have done so far in this video. First, we found out how to show AI pictures so it can understand what we want. Next up, we used AI to create websites. It did all the hard work by making the computer code for how a website looks and works. And guess what? We even made the website look cool by adding free pictures from Unsplash and Pixels. Then, I became our design buddy. It gave us tips on making websites better. Imagine having a design expert right at your fingertips. But that's not all AI can also make code for charts and graphs. We used it to make interactive charts using something called D3JS. Ever had a tricky math problem? AI can help with that too. It can make code to solve math problems and even do physics experiments like showing how a pendulum swings. AI is also like a magician for images. Designers can turn pictures into special computer code, perfect for web graphics like logos and for making websites accessible to everyone. AI adds descriptions to pictures so everyone can understand them. The best part? AI is a time saver. It's like having a speedy helper, and there's even a special subscription to get even more AI magic. So remember, AI is your friendly assistant making tasks easier and more fun. So in a nutshell, this is how you can convert images into code and websites and receive feedback, all using ChatGPT with this new image update. That's all for today's video. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback. If you have any specific topics in mind that you would like me to cover in future videos, please let me know in the comments. I'm always looking for new ideas. Thanks for watching.